Hi peeps, hope everyone's well. So today is, uh, it's a bit of a sad one today for me because it's the day I trade in my beloved V-Strom. Now, for those of you that followed the channel, you've seen the videos I've put out before on this, the tour, etc. You'll know I do really like this bike, but it does have its issues and those issues are really more down to to me rather than the bike and if you want to know more then stay tuned because as well as my reasons for selling this bike today i'm also going to be doing a bit of a bike reveal on what i'm trading it in for so stay tuned for that So I've decided to get rid of the V-Strom and it's it's no fault of the V-Strom. The V-Strom's a great bike. A couple of little niggles which all revolve around my small legs. But other than that, I can't fault this bike at all. I've had a year with it. I've done about 5,000 miles, which isn't loads. But it's took me to Switzerland and back without, well, without any issues whatsoever. So... It's a sad day to see it go, but time for something new, so I don't know how I feel about it. I was excited for the new bike and then reality hits. And apologies for the sound quality, my new microphone is not here yet, but hopefully it'll get better. So anyway stay tuned i'm going to show you my new bike shortly and you can tell me what you think of it and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button thanks guys so without giving anything away really on the new bike there are a lot of things i'm going to miss with this one and one of them bizarrely is actually one of the reasons i'm getting rid of it weird to say i know but hear me out first right so this bike is it, it's tall i've just been telling you all about that and the issues that that brings however when you're actually moving and you're in motion you can see everything down the road you can see that car that's just pulled out you can see the things in front of this car because i can see over it I like being sat up tall and it's it's just unfortunate my little legs can't cope with the stopping bit <laughs> it, it is i mean don't get me wrong i've learned to live with this bike i've got a flat foot down now which is just the one foot i can't get two down with this kind of balls of my feet stroke tippy toes if you've not seen my hard not pass video please do that video and that experience of riding around the a lot of serious hills it's it kind of brought it home to me how dangerous it it can actually be if you can't put your feet down going up hills like that I was petrified that if the bike was to stall I wouldn't have been able to get my foot down to stop the bike from falling over and things like that are expensive brought it home to me because I did try on that hill to put me me foot down just to kind of steady myself while I was going up and down those serious hills and yeah it, it just was a bit unnerving for me and whilst Taffy Two Wheels was in his element and was loving it because he's a big bugger my little legs and me were a little bit more nervous to it and whilst I love the views and the ride itself was phenomenal it was kind of the deciding factor to do this today I am going to be sad because this bike really has done nothing wrong. I bought it knowing that it was this tall and I was this short. This bike is really, really 
quick. Now I know you sports bike riders are going to kind of tut at that, but it's it's got over a thousand cc with it. It does give it some when you want it to. It will cruise on the motorway quite happily without breaking a sweat. And if you've seen my tour and seen me on the autobahn on this thing, you know it can actually shift. But see here, like because the ground's a bit uneven, I can't even flat foot, I'm kind of tiptoed. And that's just with one foot. So it would only take really someone to come past me or a strong gust of wind and I'd probably feel a bit uneasy thinking I was going to go sideways. Which isn't perfect is it? And as always if you've got a V-Strom, if you've had the same issues as me with uh, not so long legs etc, you know, let me know. Let's. Uh, Make me feel a little bit better for not being the only one. I mean, it, oh, do you know what? It, it it is a reluctant swap. If if I'm honest, I'm, I am nitpicking because I do genuinely love this bike. I think this bike has done everything that I wanted it to. It's just that little bit of uncomfortableness or kind of what's the just. It's just the fear of dropping it, which is, it's, it, that's the only reason really I'm, I'm changing it. It's just that, and I can, I know what I'm looking for more excuses, but I think if we break it down into things I like and things I don't, the things I like far outweigh the things I don't, but, I've had it a year now, I've done quite a bit on it and from a channel point of view I think it is time to move on so I think ultimately it's got to be done so I'm going to leave this on this V-Strom here I need some sad music I think to play it out but then obviously after the little montage please do come back because Hopefully I'll be feeling a bit happier when the new one is under my bottom. Keep watching. day for it. I need to get home before it starts raining though. Black clouds everywhere. So, this is what I bought. Not doing a review of it today. Once I've had it for a couple of days, once I've got used to it, I'll do a review. I'll tell you how good or how bad it is. Hopefully it's good. But anyway, have a look. This is what I've got. <laughs> for today come back hopefully in a couple of days where i'll be able to do a full review of this bike i'll tell you what i like about it look at it i absolutely love the look of it let's see if i love the ride of it come back in a few days <laughs>